right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Brian T. City Ortega and Alexander the Great Volkanovski. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we get the kickboxing match? It's not enough. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper. It also is every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Beautiful hook. He's hurt. He's hurt. Just missed with the left there. Punch over the top. How about that chin? What a big time takedown. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Ortega is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Side control now. My bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, PC. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by T-City, Brian Ortega. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Oh, oh he's hurt, man. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Slips the punch nicely there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tight clinch. Boy, Thai plump. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. That's a big strike right there. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Five minutes in the books. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. So we lean on the numbers here. It looks like it did start a little bit. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it to pull it very bad. Oh, he might be out. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Straight right. Man, 
man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Trying to establish that jab once again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out prop. Massive takedown to the win. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, elbow to the head there by Ortega. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Good work here to the body with the ground and pound by T-City, Brian Ortega. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Volkanovski's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is good. Great finish. Great. Are you ready? Are you ready? Point. Leg kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage. Not only Volkanovski gets the double leg takedown. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Remain in round three. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Yo, guys, run! 
Check the slick movement where he slugged the leg back in. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great... Straight right hand, no good. Nice stupid punch. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. Volkanovski gets the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad. But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Under three minutes remain in round four. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, Volkanovski's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Close guard. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Fighters back to their feet here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, that right hand is on point. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Come on, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a... We have arrived at this fifth and final round. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. And he landed the right hand there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Yes, they hurt him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Oh! Let's finish his fight. He's done it. He's done it. Now goes in and secures the takedown.
Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. So while working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Volkanovski. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Both fighters get up now. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big pause for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands the right hand. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh! He's hurt. By TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man.